Well, all day we will be focusing on kiddos and encouraging you to come out here and donate to our Angel Tree Toy Drive to help make a child's wish come true this holiday season. And we continue caring for kids also with the Child Abuse Prevention Center who helps children through their foster youth program. Here to explain more, we have training manager Mike Baldwin and Zoe Larson, who is an AmeriCorps member serving the foster youth today. So welcome to both of you. And uh, Zoe, I know this is something that's very personal to you because you first have experienced uh, what this program does, yeah. having been someone in the program, and now you're paying it forward as a mentor. We'll talk a little yeah. more about that. But first, for those who are unfamiliar with the Child Abuse Prevention Center's Foster Youth Program, tell us a little more about this program. What does it do? Well, the Foster Youth Program that we run is called the Youth Investment Center. Mm -hmm. and the Youth Investment Center Program is a program that supports youth, foster youth, with mentoring one-on-one -on -one to give them uh, a, basically a hand up so that they can be um, more successful in their transition when they, um, when they come out of the foster care system. Okay, and, and tell me, um, who are the ones that are actually serving the youth in this program? So someone like myself mm -hmm. um, volunteers their time to serve um, with foster youth at different sites and agencies. I serve at CPS mm -hmm. um, directly with foster youth. So I serve as foster youth from the ages of 15 and a half all the way to 21 when they age out of foster care. And, and, and so like I mentioned, this is something personal to you. This yes. is something that you have been in the other shoes yes. before on. And what is it like, I just, I just love to know, what is it like now being in the position that you are helping other, other youth? Um, it's really uplifting, mm -hmm. especially because um, a lot of people worry about how that might affect me. Um, triggers, um, reliving traumas, mm -hmm. especially helping these youth through similar situations. Mm. And that kind of motivates me to keep going, is to help it be easier for these youth who I know are experiencing very traumatic experiences mm -hmm. on top of the traumatic experiences that they've already lived. Yeah. So just helping them through it the best way that I have learned how is really just motivation. And I can't imagine actually better help, right? Because mm -hmm. it helps them understand they're not alone. Yes. And you have been there and you have survived and look at you, an amazing young woman, right? Thank you. <laughs> and so that's just a great role model. So mm -hmm. thank you and congratulations for, for doing what you're doing. I understand too that AmeriCorps is also involved in this, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why is AmeriCorps such a great uh, fit for this? AmeriCorps actually provides us training and gives us the resources and tools that we need to be the volunteers that we are in our service sites. So we get an incredible amount of training to do the service that we do. So we're fully prepared. We know um, what we're getting into. We know how to serve the youth the best way possible mm -hmm. and how to also not re-trigger them as well as we have phenomenal support behind us from the CAP Center um, through AmeriCorps. So we are completely backed up as well as our, we are backing up our youth. Mm -hmm. So it's like a chain of command. Um, AmeriCorps allows us to do our job and the CAP Center really helps us do the service that we're doing. That's fantastic. Yes. And our viewers watching, they can get involved too, right? Yes. Okay, so, so how? Uh, well, actually, the, as, a, as a father, of three young adults right now. I understand how difficult it is for young adults to make that next step into adulthood. Mm -hmm. um, and the Youth Investment Center program does that. Um, and the CAP Center, uh, being the agency that supports it, was, is asking the viewers to consider a, a donation, um, a tax deductible donation to the CAP Center so that we can continue this fantastic work that we're doing mm -hmm. to continue to support these youth in learning things like uh, fan financial literacy, yeah, life important. skills, yeah. um, and uh, one of our biggest focuses is really academic success, helping them get those uh, graduations, the high school graduations that they need or their equivalency and really going down a road to help them and support them. So that donation is going to continue this program and allow us to continue to do this work for those youth. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And, and it's clear to see how uh, how beneficial donations like that are, especially seeing such a wonderful, poised young woman like Zoe here absolutely. Uh, present with us today. So clearly people, donate, be a part of this. Where can our viewers go so they can do that? Uh, well, it's actually really easy. Um, the easy part of that is that you just go to our website. Our website, which is www.thecapcenter.org. You go there, you go to the home page, and on the home page, there's a Donate Now button. Mm -hmm. You click on that button, it takes you to another page, and it's a very simple process that you lead through, and it's very quick, very easy to donate, and we appreciate it so much. Absolutely. Both of you, thank you so much.